I don't think you are praying. You are not praying. You are only shaking your head. You are fond of that. Just because you know I am interested in this thing, you will be pretending. You are only shaking your head as if you are praying. We just finished praying at the family altar. We came into the bedroom. We prayed together as a couple. Then you left. You came back now thinking that probably I would have slept. And because you saw that I was there awake, you were shaking your head, shaking your head like this, because you know I'm making advances towards you. This is not fair now. Eh? It is not fair. I have every right to your body as my wife. And even when I'm not interested. When will you be interested? When will you be interested? Do you know you have not given me attention for the past three weeks? Eh? If I make any move, you'll be shaking your head. You'll be shaking your head as if you are praying. You and I know that you are not praying. My dear, stop being hypocritical. You don't have the right to judge you. I am not judging you. But I... Okay, I am sorry. Hmm? I am sorry. It's just that I've been facing a lot of trying times now. It's not easy, please. Yeah, please. It's okay. When I'm ready, I'll let you know. When you are ready. Mm -hmm. Are you reading your Bible at all? Eh? Do you even read that Bible? Mm -hmm. If you read that Bible you carry around, you will know what the Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 2 to 4. And what is in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 2 to 4? Read it yourself. Read it out. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have a whole husband. Let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence. And likewise, also the wife unto the husband. The wife has no power over her own body, but the husband. Likewise, also the husband has no power over his own body. Read verse 4 again. Read what again. Read what again. <laughs> Man of God, 
with all these signs that the hand is near and that the Antichrist is deceiving many people. The only Bible verse you can quote for your wife is that her body belongs to you. Mm. Mm. Ah, Pastor. Because of something that has no eternal value, you have forgotten all the Bible quotations on holiness and consecration. Mm. My dear, are you sure you are not backsliding? Mm. Hello, brother Papa Tunde. Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. How is your family? Pastor, my wife wants me to misbehave. Misbehave, okay. Pastor, I am calling you this time of the night because my marriage is being threatened by the devil. The devil? Brother Tunde, what actually is the matter? Hey, you better tell Pastor the truth. Ah, ah Sister Yemisi, so you are there. Please, what is the problem? Pastor, let him tell you by himself. Oh yeah, talk now. Pastor is asking you a simple question. Go ahead and answer. Hey. Brother Tunde, are you still there? Okay, uh, uh, Sister Yemisi, if your husband is not answering me, please can you tell me what the problem is? He is here, he's still here. He just went mute. I don't know why he can't talk again. I don't. Okay, please can you tell me what the problem is, Sister? Pastor, I will talk. It is about sex. My husband asks for sex too much. Uh -uh. And if I refuse, he will be behaving as if he, 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 he is not a Christian. Uh -uh. Sister Mama Tule. Good evening, Mommy. What is good about the evening? Eh? What is good about the evening that you are denying your husband his rights? Uh -uh. For goodness sake. Your marriage is less than three years. Three years and you are complaining. Do you want him to look outside? And this is how you young women used to expose your husband to danger. How when they misbehave? By sleeping around with other women, you start calling the pastor and his wife. Um, um, mommy, I, I, actually, it is not like that. Um... It's what, my sister? You don't have any excuse. See? You need to pray for God's grace to help you overcome your weakness. And if you need any cancer, you can come and see me personally. I'm very grateful, man. God bless you. Man. You are welcome. God bless you too. <laughs> that was a brilliant cancer. Thank God for your life. <laughs> Thank God for your life. Yeah. So, uh, um... what? What? You want to take the advantage of the fact that I just cancelled a couple of sex to have sex with me? <sighs> My dear, Brother Tunde and Sister Yemisi got married less than three years ago. Less than three years ago. So, they need it. They only have a child. But we, We've been married for 15 years. 50 good years. Ah ah. What is it? Is it food?
to watch, watch, you are watching. Ah. What do you know that I'm watching? I ah! Hey, hey, hey. Hey, go to your room, go to your room. Uh, I will allow you to watch one very important film later. <laughs> one very interesting film. No, no. You watch your own later. You watch your own later. You watch your own later. Hello, Mr. Babatine. Please, I want you to repeat your testimony. I am with my husband now. We want to thank God for saving our family from collapsing. We equally want to thank you, our pastors, for the way God used you to rescue our home. God bless you, sir and ma. Now I know what it means to have a godly home. Mommy, thank you for your counsel and teachings. You know, the seven secrets on how to be a good wife has really helped me. I enjoy every aspect of my marriage now. Thank you so much, Ma. To God be their glory. Let's give God all the glory. <laughs> we thank God. We thank God. Thank you so much, Daddy and Mommy. Your exemplary marriage has greatly affected our home. Hmm. By the grace of God, it is not difficult for me to submit to my husband. We don't deprive each other of our bodies and anymore. Indeed, your marriage is a blessing to us. Yes, a great blessing indeed. I can boldly say that God used you to save my life from a very strong satanic bondage. Really? What bondage? Sir, now I have the confidence to tell the world. How God used your family to deliver me from a terrible bondage of addiction. Because of the way my wife used to deny me each time I asked for sex. The devil capitalized on this and lured me into pornography. The blood of Jesus. Yes, that precious blood of Jesus was what delivered me. I was totally gone. Pornography became an obsession and I lost control over my sexual emotion. I thank God. I mean, I really thank God for mommy. She called my wife to her office and gave her seven secrets on how to be a good wife. And that was it. I can boldly say that that one on one encounter that my wife had with mommy has really changed the story of our marriage. My dear wife is now a virtuous woman by all standards. We really thank God for mommy. Yes, oh, we thank God for mommy. Uh, uh, yes, we, we thank God for mommy. Let us give thanks to God. Mr. Mrs. Babatuni, the Lord bless you. The testimony shall be permanent in Jesus' name. God bless you. My dear, what is it? Is it that you are not happy that they said, uh, let us give thanks to God for mommy? You mean I should be happy? Yes. No. I should be crying instead. I should be crying because of our high level of hypocrisy. Ha! Ah! Men are now praising my wife. My wife that has no respect for me as her husband. Yet she hands respect from outsiders. I should be crying because. We are laboring so hard to rescue so many homes from collapsing Why our home is sinking. My dear, can't you see? Can't you see that we are falling to the same pit we are rescuing others from? Ah! 
indefinitely. That demon of pornography that left Brother Batunde was the one that landed on Demon of pornography? How? What is this? Man of God! Woman of God! Woman of God! <laughs> see my life! See my life! See what my life has oh, Jesus! <laughs> I'm sorry, Lord. <laughs> Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I put water there. What is the problem with you? Uh uh. Hey, yes? What is your problem? You put an empty glass cup here and you are telling me that you put water here. Ah! Uh -huh. I thought I put water here. How will you know that you have not served me water when all you know how to do is just to press food? I know the way people used to serve me food anytime I go out for outside engagement. They serve me with dignity and respect. I thought I've already put the water here before I went to sit. How will you know when all your mind and attention are glued to that useless phone you are pressing? Eh? If not for civilization, I know the way our forefathers handle their wives. You would have met that here until, until I finish eating. They used to need that until their husbands finish eating. It's not for civilization. Kelsh. You are too local and traditional. That is why you are not romantic. Besides, when you notice I didn't give you water, what is bad in you go inside the kitchen to fetch the water yourself? Ah! Look at the dragons that is coming out of your mouth. Eh? Even if you are going to serve this useless food you, you put in front of me, if you are going to give this food to dogs, you can't give dogs without water. Not to talk of your husband, your head. What is it? I'm not even eating it. I'm not eating it. I'm not eating it. I'm not eating it. I'm not eating it.
you are going to serve this useless food you, you put in front of me, if you are going to give this food to dogs, you can't give dogs without water. Not to talk of your husband, your head. I know you are hungry. You should, but sin not. Do not allow sun to set on your hunger. Why won't you be hungry? This is the most ridiculous thing a wife will ever do to her husband. Go and teach her a lesson, and she will learn how to respect you. So, you want to go and beat your wife? Is it right? Is it right for a Christian to beat his wife? Yes! Is it not written in the Bible? Proverbs 22 15. Foolishness is found in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. There are some things that you must use rods to get out of the life of your wife. This is not the appropriate scripture for your situation now. Why not obey God's word in 1 Peter 3 7? Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with your wife according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayer be not in that. Go and make peace with your wife so that your prayers be not in that. Are you this foolish? You want to go and apologize to a woman that has no respect for you? I will not be the first person to apologize to her. I will go and see if she has realized her mistake and she's ready to apologize. If she says she's sorry, then I will forgive her and hit my foot. I should not have talked to him like that. I was wrong. I pray he comes back on time for me to apologize to him.
I'm sorry. You you gave my food to dog? I'm sorry. But you are the one who said even dogs cannot be served food without water. And I... So, that is why you gave my food to dog? What kind of a woman are you? You gave my food to dog? Eh? Oh. delivered at the couple's forum a few days ago. Mm. Marriage is a serious work and it's not for babies. Thank God for those couples that call themselves babies. I have no problem with that because it sounds romantic. I mean, is it not? It is. <laughs> so, but I want you to understand something. You are not a baby at heart. Marriage is meant for mature males and females. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Point number five. Sisters, respect and honor your husbands. So many sisters are having problems in their marriages because of lack of respect. See, men love to be respected. Sisters, Respect your husbands. Hmm. Ah, if a woman can humble herself enough, just as it is written in the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, such woman will enjoy a husband. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God. I know some of you call your husband daddies. Well, I want to let you know that respect is more than that. By the special grace of God, I have a lot of respect for my husband. I serve his food with respect. I don't shout at him. I, in fact, I don't deprive him of anything. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Whoever has it in mind to snatch my husband away from me has a lot of work to do. <laughs> yes. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Hmm. How could you? What do you mean? How could you tell such big lies before the people of God? Me? You're not even ashamed of yourself. Me? Tell lies? Eh, those big lies that uh, you are submissive, you respect your husband. Do you have any other husband as well? But you were happy when I was praising you. And you also came out and you started saying so many sweet words about me. And finally, I would like to invite our father in the Lord, my darling husband, my crown, the holy handsome man in the whole universe. 
I want you to please jam your hands together as we invite him to come and pray for us. Praise the Lord. I'm so excited to be in your midst today to partake of this great blessing. The message delivered by my wife is so powerful. I'm so blessed. You will all agree with me that she ministered under an unusual anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, I am so blessed to have such a firebrand woman of God as my wife. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, she's so respectful. My wife is so submissive, so humble, so cool, so loving, so exceptional. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, I always find it difficult to find any fault in my wife. As a matter of fact, you know, if there is love in a marriage, it is difficult to find fault. Simply put, my wife is faultless. (laughs) Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Heaven and heart know that I love you, my dear. (laughs) Celebrate this woman of God. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for celebrating my wife. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you for all these wonderful couples. Thank you for their marriages and homes. I pray that your blessings will come upon them. Amen. By the virtue of the message we have listened to today, this powerful word of God that came from my wife, I pray in the name of Jesus that it will turn their marriages around. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. So, my darling husband, who is the liar? Who is the liar? Who is the liar? Take you to get dressed and get out of that house. Eh? For goodness sake, you have been dressing before I enter the bathroom. <laughs> Dear. I don't know when we stop going late to programs. I am a leader in the church and I'm supposed to show some level of discipline. But for my wife, 
But I said I'm sorry, Abby. That, that is what you always say. Eh? Instead of you to be more organized, you do things without adequate plan and dexterity. What are you looking for? I thought I picked my gele. Did you see it? See what? My dear, please. We have to turn back. I think I left it at home. Turn back? Do you know what time is it now? Eh? Ah, if you can allow me going with you like this without gele. No problem. Forget your gilly at home. Eh? You are not just coordinated. My dear, anybody can forget anything. We are home, Uma. No! No! I don't forget things like that. I am not that daft. I am intelligent. Anytime I am going for a program, I get all my things ready. I don't forget anything. Yes! Most especially the essential things. I don't forget them. My dear. Yes! I am very sure of what I am saying. Can we keep going, sir? A Christian home is the best. Well, well, why we still go I'm back home now? Home yeah, because somebody is not just coordinated. Because somebody is not just organized. I don't forget things anyhow like that. No, 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 no. I plan my things. If I'm going for a program, I get all my Mr. things ready. Is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife. Oh. We'll be forgetting the essential love things. Other, every time. Every time. Ah, I know I don't do things like that. No, 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 no. I am more organized. I don't, I don't do things like that. I don't make a fool of myself. My life. Our home is built on God's word. My heart belongs to you. Hey, for you were my joy. Joy, 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 joy. The love of my life. Our home is built on God's word. We are a happy family. A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife, oh, love each other sincerely. A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife, oh, love each other sincerely. Dear, yeah. oh, you were yes, my, my joy, 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 oh, the love of my life. Of my oh. Hello, we speak to you as a minister is what to say in Jesus' name. Amen. He will use you more than your preparation in Jesus name. Amen. Wow. So is my wife ready? 100%. Really? Yes, my Lord. Say that again. Yes, my Lord. Wow. <laughs> and the anointing will flow specially today. Yes. So. <laughs> All right.
Kai, I have forgotten my daughter and my Bible at home. How do I tell my wife that I have forgotten these essential items I will use to preach at home? How will you forget your gilly at home? Eh? You are not just coordinated. My dear, anybody can forget anything. We are home women. No! No! I don't forget things like that. I am not that daft. I am intelligent. Anytime I am going for a program, I get all my things ready. I don't forget anything. Yes. Most especially the essential things. I don't forget them. My dear. Yes. I am very sure of what I am saying. Eh. Dear? Yes. Hope you did not forget anything at all. No. Uh, are you sure? Do you think I forget something? Uh, no, <laughs> I am just asking. Uh, I want my wife to be complete hundred percent as I minister. <laughs> wow! Thank you. Yes, Hey, uh, my dear, uh, where is your phone? Uh, this is it. Do you want to make a call? Uh, no, 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 uh, no, no, no. Don't worry, don't worry. Ah, dear, why did you wear this shoe on this your fine dress? What is wrong with my shoe? I would have preferred the red color. Should we go back home and change it? Uh, no, dear. My shoe is okay. Besides, I would not like us to get late to the program again. Uh, okay. Uh, no problem. No problem. Holy Spirit, what do I do? My dear, are you okay? Uh, no. Uh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Yes. Ah! No! No! Ah! Ah! I feel I feel pressed. I want to use the toilet. And let us let us make a U-turn. Oh, why going back home when you have a toilet in church? I I don't want to use the toilet in the church. Dear, I'm not talking about the church general toilet. I'm talking about the one in, in your office. I don't want to use the toilet in my office. I prefer going back home. Well, if that is the way you are led, no problem. Uh, yes, that is the way I am led. We have to hand to your speed so that we don't get into church. Ah! Yeah. What again? I am seriously pressed. Ah! Ah! Please wait for me. I will soon be back. For you were my joy. The love of my life. Our home is built on God's world. We are happy family.
Actually, uh, I don't expect a man of God that wants to go and minister to be telling lies again. I know what you are looking for. Please get me a bottle of water. A crystal home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife home. Love each other sincerely. Thank you. Why do you have to put yourself through all this needless stress because of ego? stay too long in the office today. That's okay. And no counseling for single ladies, particularly those desperate husband snatchers <laughs> that don't have respect for pastors. <laughs> uh, it's not funny. Uh, maybe my wife will have to follow me to the office. No. I have no plan to go to the office today. I have something I want to do in preparation for our wedding anniversary. Wow! So, what is my wife planning for our wedding anniversary? No. I will not tell you until you tell me the plans you have for me. Okay. Um, tomorrow evening, mm. which is the eve of our anniversary, Mm -hmm. I'll take you out for shopping. Wow! <laughs> That's my husband. 
<laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Wow. Um, next tomorrow, mm -hmm. which is the D day, mm -hmm. when you wake up in the morning, I will not allow you to go to the kitchen. I'll make your breakfast. Wow. <laughs> and uh, in mm. the afternoon, mm -hmm. I'll take you out for lunch at today's Booker. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I know you love the place. Absolutely. That restaurant, has taste. Wow. Their treatment was excellent the last time we were there. Wow. <laughs> and um, in the evening, Mm. We go to see a movie at the cinema together with the children. Ah, uh, my husband is a great event planner. <laughs> you can say In that fact, again. I'm excited. <laughs> yes. So, so, so now, calm down, calm down now. So, mm. what is my wife's plan for our anniversary? Women love to keep secrets and to spring surprises. <laughs> okay, will mommy now grant me permission to proceed to the office? Permission sure granted, sir. Yes, ma. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Thank you. A crystal home is the best. Our godly home where true love is shared. Hello. Oh, I'm fine, thank you. How is business? Oh, praise God, praise God. I just sent one hairstyle to your phone. Yes, I saw it on Instagram. Yes, I'll be coming to the salon to make my hair later today. Thank you so much, thank you. Bye. A crystal home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife, oh, love each other sincerely. Yeah, hello, my sister. Oh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah, I sent a picture to your WhatsApp. Have you seen it? Hey, yeah, yeah, that's good. Hey, I think I prefer the design of that cake to the one I chose earlier. Yes, 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 yes. Uh -huh. And please, don't forget that my husband's favorite color is blue. While mine is uh, white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. God bless you, my sister. I will send your balance shortly. Yeah, yeah. God bless you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. All right. Bye. A crystal home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife oh, love each other sincerely. A crystal home is the best. A godly where true love is shared Husband and wife oh, Love each other sincerely
pastor and pastor missus. Happy wedding anniversary in advance. I can see that both of you are excitedly preparing for the celebration of your 15th year wedding anniversary. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so tell me, why are you celebrating? Ah. <laughs> what type of a question was that? It's like you don't know the people you are talking to. We've been married for 15 years 15 good years good good years yes we have children wonderful children we have ministry that we are impacting lives for jesus so sir this wedding anniversary of ours is a celebration of a fulfilling marriage yeah. <laughs> you are wrong Yes, you are. Uh, the points you mentioned are worth celebrating. But you have filled the purpose of your marriage. So your celebration isn't worth it anymore. Long before both of you came together as husband and wife, God already determined your purpose. I am not talking about being an ordained pastor or pastor missus. <laughs> because man ordained man, even when such man is not approved by God. Your ministry is not even recognized by heaven because you can't give what you don't have. Or do you think the righteous God will be pleased with this life of pretense and hypocrisy of yours? You preach what you don't practice. Even mentored homes. Meanwhile, you have not been mentored. God is not happy with your relationship. Because... Each time you fight, you send the Holy Spirit out of your home. I am not saying that you shouldn't celebrate. But first find God's purpose for your marriage before celebration. Purpose is the reason for your marriage. And when it is not known, abuse is inevitable. A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife, oh, love each other sincerely. A crystal home is the best. Oh. Lord, please let us know and find your purpose for our marriage. Oh. Father, we find our purpose for our lives. Please, Lord. My dear, what is the problem? I had a dream. A man appeared to both of us. Both of us? Yes. And he said, God is not happy with our marriage. Because we are yet to find purpose why God brought us together. Hmm. 
<sighs> Dear? Yes? I think we need to go on a retreat. We need to seek God. I agree. But that will be after our wedding anniversary. No. There is nothing to celebrate until we find purpose. As a matter of fact, we are starting a three-day fasting and prayer this morning. <laughs> Me boo. Why did we agree on that? See, you have come with your lies again. If you know you don't have money to take me out, just come out straight. Stop lying against the Lord who is sitting quietly in heaven. Our godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife, oh. Love each other, see. Lord, please help me touch the heart of my husband. Let him live wherever he is now and begin to come home. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, let him begin to come home now. Lord, please touch the heart of my wife. Make her see reason why both of us should pursue our marriage purpose together. Father, encounter her also. In the name of Jesus. Hello there. Where are you? I'm in God's presence. Where is God's presence? I'm in church praying. Why can't you pray at home? Our house presently is not conducive for this spiritual exercise. My dear, I need you to come back home. Our visitors will soon arrive. At the moment, I have decided to see no other person except Christ. Mm. Bye. <laughs> yes? Come in. Good, Good morning, morning, Ma. You're welcome. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Ma. You're welcome. <laughs> Happy wedding anniversary, Ma. Um, Ma, the cake and the wines are inside the car outside. Can we bring them in before Daddy comes out? Which Daddy? Your husband. Ma, hope there is no problem. No problem. Just that there is no more surprise party. Ah. Yes. Close your mouths and go to your houses. Eh? I said go. Look at them. 
I that is celebrating wedding anniversary. I've not tied Gilly. See their egg gears. My husband. My husband. See what you have put me into. I promise you. You will regret this. Ma, you did not say anything about the cake and the refreshments. struggling at cross purposes it's because you refuse to agree with your husband can two work together except they agree no as husband and wife both of you are one God brought you to him to fulfill purpose together Except you realize and admit this truth, you will only labor without attaining success. Look at it. Can't you see? Just like what you are saying, both of you are sweating or nothing. Your different purposes will continue to be wishes that can never be fulfilled. Sir, I have a question. Go on. Between what my husband and I are pursuing, which of them is God's purpose for our marriage? Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 Seek, ask, knock, then your eyes will be opened. Both of you must practice Matthew 7 7 together. A Christian hope is the best. Our godly home where true love is shared Husband and wife, oh Love each other sincerely A Christian home is the best Our godly home where true love is shared Husband and wife, oh Love each other sincerely. For you are my joy. Joy, 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 joy. The love of my life. life. Our home is built on God's word. My heart belongs to you. Hey, for you are my joy. joy, joy, joy. I am here that we might find our purpose together. Our home is built on God's word. We are happy family. A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife, oh. <laughs> love each other sincerely. Our <laughs> godly home where true love is shared. Oh.
Hello? Hello, Mama. Zakaraya. Zakaraya. Yes, Mama. <laughs> Zakaraya. Yes, Mama. Hey, yeah? Hey. Zaka. How many times have I called you? Three times, Ma. Zakaraya. You mean you are not going to give us grandson? Ah. You will not give me grandson before I die. Eh? Zakaraya. Mama, why are you talking this way? How many times am I going to tell you not to talk this way? Eh? Mama, God has been good to you. God has been so good. You have four granddaughters from my wife and I. You also have two grandsons from my sister and her husband. So what else do you want? Mama, God has been good, though. Zakaraya, listen to me. Ah, yes, sir. Ah, you know that you and your wife, you have only given me four granddaughters, eh? And eh, who, who told you that eh, your wives, the your wife, the other children that are inside her that will come are not going to be male sons? Ah, give us male children, Zakaraya, eh? We need a grandson. I, I, your mother, I need a grandson. Now, before I talk, you say, eh, 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 you have given us, eh, and then your sister has given us two grands. Listen, those two sons of your sister, they are not my grandson. They will bear their father's name. Maybe you know, Sakaraya. Ah. See, and I have gone to see a prophet on this issue. And the prophet told me that the next baby your wife will have is a male child. <laughs> it's the grandson I've been asking you for. In fact, as I am talking to you, Sakaraya, I have given the boy a name already. Ah! Mama? You know, before your father died, he told you that uh, you should make sure that you, our only son, you will give us a grandson. Sakaraya. This is the way you are doing it. Sakaraya. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Mama, Mama, why are you talking this way now? Eh? Eh? Mama, why are you talking this way now? Uh -uh. <laughs> ah. What is difficult in, in, in giving me a grandson? Only four. If you go five, six, I know a son will come. Mother. What do I do? Thank you, dear. Thank you. Uh, 
Uh, um, my dear. Yes. Do you know that our next baby is going to be a boy? Baby. Yes. What are you talking about? I mean, the next child we will have will be a boy. Next child? Mm. By the grace of God. <laughs> After four children, I thought we agreed to stop having children. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, we agreed. Yeah, but we can we can change the agreement. Ah. <laughs> My dear, hmm? this is a joke, right? Ah, I am not joking, no. I need a male child. Period. So, who carries the pregnancy? Ah, uh, what a question. You want another woman to carry my pregnancy? A crystal home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife, oh. Love each other sincerely. A crystal home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared Husband and wife oh, Love each other sincerely For you are my joy, 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 joy The love of my life, of my life. Our home is built on God's word my heart belongs to you. Hey, for you were my joy. Joy, 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 joy. The love of my life. Our home is built on God's world. We are a happy family. A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared Husband and wife oh, Love each other sincerely A Christian home is the best A godly home where true love is shared Husband and wife oh, Love each other sincerely. For you are my joy. Joy, 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 joy. The love of my life. Love of my life. Our home is built on God's word. My heart belongs to you. Hey, for you are my joy. Joy, joy, joy. The love of my life, our home is built on God's world. We are a happy family. For you are my joy, 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 The love of my life, our home is built on God's world. My heart belongs to you. Hey, for you were my joy. Joy, 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 joy. The love of my life. Our home is built on God's world. We are a happy family. A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared Husband and wife oh, Love each other sincerely For you are my joy, 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 joy. The love of my life, love of my life. 
home is built on God's word. My heart belongs to you. Hey, for you were my joy. The love of my life. Our home is built on God's word. We are happy family. A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Hello, sir. Oh. Where do? Hey, please, how far? Your wife delivered eventually. Ah. After prolonged labor. Hey. And she had some complications. So you need to get two people to donate blood to her. Huh. You also have to get these prescriptions as fast as possible. Huh. We need to save her life. Okay, hey, please, ma. Hey, hey. How is my wife? She will be fine. Hey, can I see her? Not yet. She is still unconscious. Oh. But she will be fine. My wife is unconscious. Don't worry. Oh. Hey, hey, ma. What about the baby? Hey, you actually have babies. She has twins. Twins? Two girls. Eh? Two beautiful girls. Girls? I want to discuss some things with you. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Can I go on? Mm. Please, I need your attention. I say, give me full attention. You mean I, I should stop what I am doing? It is my ears that I use in hearing. I need your eyes and your ears. My dear, mm -hmm. I noticed you have changed. Praise God. I noticed you no longer do those things you used to do for me during our courtship and when we nearly got married. Like what? You don't used to shout at me even when I did what you don't like. You normally correct me in law. This picture. Mm. Mm. Uh. Mm. Yes. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. Thank you very much, sister. I'm okay. Ah. You're yeah, okay. I'm okay, I'm okay. You didn't finish your food. I'm okay, I'm okay. What happened? <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, yes. You would have been fasting since morning. Or is it not sweet? Ah, it is sweet, it's sweet, it's sweet, it's sweet. It is sweet, it is sweet. Why is it sweet now? <laughs> it is sweet. Oh. Yes. Ah. Oh. Hey. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey. Bro, oh my god. Please, 
I'm so very sorry, bro. Please. I'm ah, sorry. Yeah, no problem. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. Uh, don't bother. Eh? Don't bother. Of course, I should be bothered. Not even aware that you are going to the fellowship. Uh, even though I am going to preach in the fellowship, but I am not angry. Uh, no problem. Hey, this nice shirt. I see, eh? Uh, even if the whole thing should pour on me, uh, I won't get angry since it is not intentional. Wow. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, I know I am going to the fellowship, and as a matter of fact, I am going to preach in the fellowship. But <laughs> there's no problem. Uh, uh, I'll find my way around it. Uh, you know, see, every man should possess the spirit of Christ. Hmm. Selfless and gentle spirit. Hmm. That is deep. Wow. Mm. Yes. We thank God. We thank God. Ah, I won't get angry. Ah, no. <laughs> it appears now that that gentle and selfless spirit has left our home. Because I dare not mistakenly pour water on you not to talk of steam. Thank you. Mom. Yes, my baby. Please, can I watch cartoon? Have you done your homework? Ah! My dear, I'm sorry. What kind of sorry? Ah! Uh, can't you see? Ah! Uh, oh! What sort of nonsense is this? My dear, can't you see that it was your daughter that distracted me? Then are you saying that I am blind? Ah, sometimes you drive me crazy with your habit. Ah, nonsense. Ah, look, look at my fire now. Look at look at my fire. Ah, look at water everywhere. Ah, a Christian is the best. Ah, a godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife. Oh. Love each other sincerely For you are my joy Joy, 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 joy The love of my life, life. My love I remember those days you used to take me out My heart belongs to you Hey, for you You opened the car door for me And you made me feel like a queen We are happy family. A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife, oh, love each other sincerely. A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared Husband and wife, oh Love each other sincerely For you are my joy Joy, 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 joy The love of my life, life. Our home is built on What's now? What's wrong? My heart belongs to you. Hey, for you were my joy. Joy, 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 joy. The love of my life. Our home is built on God's word. I will leave you in this car if you don't get down on time. What are you still doing now? Answer me now. Ah, ah. For you are my joy. Joy, joy, 
the love of my life. I will miss beauty on God's word. My heart belongs to you. I remember those days when you used to send love text messages to me as your new wife. I don't know why all those things stopped. Above all, is the way we used to pray when we were in courtship. We prayed and fasted regularly. Your prayer life in secret, as long as I know, was proportional to the way you pray in the open. For every issue, you always tell me you should pray about it. But now, your prayer life is a shadow of what it was. You only pray in the public and no longer in the secret. I don't know why. I know why. Really? Yes, I do. Number one. For you are my joy. I'm sorry. What kind of sorry? Uh, can't you see? Uh, I will leave you in this car if you don't get down on time. Oh. What are you still doing now? Sometimes you drive me crazy with your habits. I noticed you have changed. I know why. Really? Yes, I do. Number one. I thought I knew you well before marriage. Only to find out that you were more complex as a wife than the single sister I was in courtship with. Ah, what is complex about me? Eh? I did not interrupt you when you were saying your own. I am not interrupting you either. I just need clarifications. What is complex about me? Is it the way I talk, walk, or what? You have to tell me. Are you saying that I have changed? Or you are trying to say that I have backslide or what? Number two. Which number two? You can't go to number two without settling number one. What do you mean by saying I am complex? I need to know. Is it that I am no longer appealing to you like before? That is why I am complex. Or you are hiring some young girls outside. Because I am not complex. Talk, oh. You have to talk. Uh, will you allow me to talk now? I am not saying you should not talk. I'm all yes. Okay. Number two. Ah, uh -uh. I said you can't go to number two without explaining what to me by being complex. Now, you will say that I'm not allowing you to talk. Okay, tell me what you mean by being complex. Okay. Uh, I will explain. Uh, let us see the dictionary meaning of the word complex. Please check it on your phone. 
Thank you. Read the definition, then I will explain. Trusting God that my explanation will work. Hmm. Assemblage of related things, collection, complication. Complication. Hey. So you are now saying your wife is complicated. Ah. Ah. No. Eh, eh, eh. I no 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 no. What do you mean by no? It is there in the dictionary. Eh, please. I want us to focus on those first two words, assemblage and collections. In other words, you are interwovenly connected. <laughs> what about complication? Will you remove that from the definition? Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I am sorry. You are not complex. You are not, I didn't say it. I didn't say you are complex. I didn't say I never said it. You are not complex. I made a mistake before. You are lying again, dear. No. Like, eh? No, I'm not lying. You are not complex. You are like this. Good, perfect. You are not complex. A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife, oh. Love each other sincerely. A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife, oh. Love each other sincerely. For you are my joy. joy, 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 joy. The love of my life, my love of my life. I is built on God's word. My heart belongs to you. Hey, for you were my joy. joy, joy, joy the love of my life. Our home is built on God's word. We are happy family. A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Why are you looking at me like that? Your eyes. What happened to my eyes? Your high lashes. And your nose, your pointed nose, your lips, and your white set of teeth. And when you smile, your dimple. All of these complex parts make your beautiful face. So, my wife is complex but beautiful. So, you have removed the word complication and replace it with beauty. Yes. I got that from God's dictionary, not man-made dictionary. My wife is complex, but beautiful. So there is beauty in complexity. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. Wow. You can say that again, my angel. No. I'm all his. What is point number two? Listening. I'm sorry for not allowing you to talk the other time. I should be sorry. Because point number two is actually for me and not for you. I found out in God's dictionary the perfect way to relate with you as my wife. But instead of following the word of God, I was using my method. But now, I think it is best for me to follow his own definition. And what is his own definition that you despised? Ephesians chapter 5. Verse 25. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it. I find it so difficult to love you absolutely because of your imperfections and complications. But his definition says, as Christ loved the church. And there is no perfect church here on earth. Yet, Christ loved the imperfect church. Dear. I am sorry for not loving you, regardless of your imperfections and complications. Yeah. Let me have your hand. I'm looking for a verse. Yes. Verse 22 of Ephesians chapter 5. Wives, submit yourselves also unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. As unto the Lord. Though you are yet to be perfect as unto the Lord. But I need to submit to you just like I submit to the Lord. Are you calling me the grace to do this? Husband and wife, oh, love each other sincerely. A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife, oh. According to Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25. I promise to love you henceforth, regardless of your imperfections and complications. So help me God. Mm. Husband and wife, oh, love each other sincerely. For you earn my joy. joy, joy. The love of my life. According to Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22, I promise to submit myself to you as your wife, just as unto the Lord. So I think of Husband and wife, oh, love each other. 
Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Husband and Wife series. We believe it has blessed your home and family. We pray that you will know peace and God's love in your homes in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to also click the notification button for more videos. Thank you. God bless you. Where true.